<laughs> I'm expecting a teaser. Yeah. I also have a notepad and a pen. Oh, that's a smart idea. Ah, oh, God, that music. Yep. So good. I'm Mark Norsworthy. I'm the Destiny 2 uh, general manager. I'm Luke Smith, and I'm the Destiny 2 game director. Before we started the show today, we wanted to just acknowledge the circumstances and the unprecedented times we're in. Um, this is not how we had planned this several months ago uh, to talk about the future of Destiny 2 and, and, and reveal where we're headed <laughs> with, with the team. Um, you know, the, this show's not how we planned it. We're building the game, not how we planned it. Do you think it. Luke Smith looks a little room, bit like Tibbs? Basements and with our oh my god, he totally does. <laughs> <and> <laughs> on our laps while, uh, while we're trying to make this game. Yeah, oh, the, that's hilarious. Uh, this is there's like, there's like an inherent just a little bit like even the weirdness of yeah. you know this is the first time i've seen you in person actually quite a bit in the last like probably three mm -hmm. months and i don't know if people know but outside of the show that is work like those are actually pretty close like we hang out we talk all the time our our significant others are buddies like uh and so yeah this also is audio like, levels it's are super good. weird just to see you yeah in nothing we can person. really do about yeah, that not i guess screen. yeah not on yeah. this little like zoom screen on an ipad or something like it's just it's just totally bizarre yeah um this is not how we envisioned this and certainly our hope was that it would be more than just us two talking about this stuff um and over the course of the summer we'll a bunch more folks from the team are gonna are gonna talk about what we're what we're up to and what we're gonna be up to let's get the show started We go fuck oh, yes you, you called it what's going on with these earbuds come on fucking course i had a feeling they might combine the two teasers yeah this these earbuds aren't working for me uh, of course. You can turn up the volume on your phone for a bit if you want until you get your earbuds. No, no, no. Called it. Absolutely fucking called it. What's that? The Exo Stranger. Oh, is that it? I looked away for a second. Fuck. Yeah, it was the Exo Stranger. I mean, yeah, of course. Obviously, it's gotta be the Exo Stranger, right? Oh, fuck me. What was that? I have no idea. Yep, that's her. That's, that's Eris. That's, that's her. Do you reckon that's was that? I think that was Eris, right? That was Eris, uh, but it's the extra stranger on the bike. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, that's the coolest sparrow ever. The Eris. Right? Oh man, what is this? Oh, my Eris looks so cool. That looks Rasputin-y, right? That that building. Yeah. They just gave that yeah. that sound. What the fuck? Dude, where can I get one of those? Oh my god, this that's so fucking cool. Is what I brought you here to see. Oh yeah, this... I didn't catch it. What did she say? This is what I brought you here to see. Beyond light. Beyond light. Oh. Oh. So that's good. Okay. Dude, that title though. Yeah, that's brilliant. Holy so, fuck. Uh, Luke, is it finally time to explain? Oh, you know, listen, like some jerk said that the st we were done with the stranger story. And <laughs> you get back into Destiny and you keep like looking What's around up? and finding stones to uncover. You don't hear who says that she's no, not my audio's in light and where the two of them meet, ground or break. Yeah, just go, go get some headbuds. To, to leverage here and uh, definitely keep you on light and others. going forward. You know, it is the beginning of a brand new era in Destiny 2. This fall, you're going to discover Europa, a brand new destination, and one of the first destinations we envisioned long ago when Destiny began. This is the birthplace of the Exo and the site of a newly active pyramid ship. 
As a player, you're going to face Aramis, a fallen warrior wielding a brand new power born from a very ancient... Is my mic picking this up? Like yes. you, Aramis is a leader, but unlike you, she seeks revenge against the Traveler for scattering her people's once great houses to the cosmic winds. It's up to you to confront Aramis and her growing empire on the frozen battlegrounds of Europa. And it's up to you to go beyond and discover long dormant secrets hidden beneath the surface. And okay, so we're fighting off against Aramis. Time, like, That's pretty fucking so cool. Drift. Yes, there you go. Uh, that one I've Lower corner. That one yeah, I'm going to try and go and find some other buds here. Yeah. There's a lot more to Europa than you might imagine. And here's your first look at gameplay from Destiny 2 Beyond Life. Oh shit. That entire Where I come from, the darkness won. I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. This is a truth we cannot hide from, and so we must embrace it. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. All right. Yep, there it is. There it is. Darkness subclasses. I will give these guardians the destruction they crave. Oh, dude. Man, it's time to wield the darkness. We've been uh, waiting. <laughs> Destiny 2 Beyond Light ships to all currently supported platforms on September 22nd this you year. Yep. And it kicks off a new era in Destiny where players will discover the true nature yep. of the light and the dark. Not just walking the thin line between, but wielding the darkness itself as a weapon with stasis. And we did just get Your like boy a very it. brief look at that today. And... You know, obviously we're gonna end up showing more throughout the course of the summer. And the other thing is stasis, this new power, isn't just gonna be Guardian supers and abilities. It's a brand new damage type. So that means it's gonna ultimately sit alongside solar, arc, and void as the first new element we've introduced to the game since the original Destiny release way back in 2014. This is a big deal. Like, it's a big deal to add this to the universe. Like, it changes everything. And it's a lot of work. Stasis. That's so cool. <laughs> Today, That's such yeah, a great you got name a glimpse of this, this new power, and it's it's definitely the pursuit and acquisition and, and the player's ability to wield it is something that's going to be woven in through the narrative of the game. Like, the game is kind of a collision course between you and, and Aramis, and uh, we're going to show you a bunch more about stasis. So do you reckon it's going to be actual subclasses, or it'll be like Warmind Cells, where it'll be a mod that you... Did say that Destiny 2 Beyond I think it's going to be an actual subclass. They... they pretty much outright said it what is that that's, it's going to well, be alongside arc void and solar we're thinking yeah. about destiny beyond just any given year and thinking about it over time and so we want to take a look into kind of the long future of destiny but when you want to look ahead like we're about to do it all starts back at the beginning oh shit back here we go uh, vault vault of glass music. oh the music oh shit we called it the Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Bill Nye. Oh, that's singing. Eyes up, Guardian. <gasps> Dinklage? You, you <laughs> must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. The Exo Stranger. Six of us yep. went down into the pit. In the end, they all bowed before me. Can't wait for Marsov to come back. We have slain his know, brood. Right. We have murdered his son. And now the Taken King comes for us all.
Uh, that strike oh, was so yeah. good. Valista Arc. No, that wasn't Valista Arc. That was. We were I don't remember his name. Yo, Rise of Iron. Such a good expansion. Yeah. Mediocre sword at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Really forgotten the fear of death. I am gone. Dude, the music is so I good in this game. Yeah. Anything audio yeah. in this game? Without the light. <laughs> are we even guardians anymore? Do you think Zavala is still deserving of the role of commander or no? <laughs> Big we question. should have been there. Any last words? I'm coming home, Ace. So, oh. this is to be a reckoning. Should always be taken. Hello? Ah, oh, I just got chills. Even if it's the wrong side. Lightfall. Yo! Holy what? Leaf. We are building Destiny. They're, they're laying it all out. The side of Destiny 2. It starts with Beyond Light coming this fall. It's going to continue with the next major expansion. Oh my Witch god. Queen, and Lightfall is going to kind of drive this all to a, uh, to a moment. These three releases represent this new era in Destiny. These eras began really in 2014 with that era of light where you know Jesus. players entered Destiny for Dude. the first time. They were resurrected. They went to the tower. They learned about uh, the things the children were Yo. scared of. <laughs> and, and, sorry, new you know, cheers for all we, to that. We exited that era uh, when we became guardians. Coffee, we is. are now coming mm -hmm. out of an era of loss Same. of our powers, one of our mentors, our innocence, and soon we will be entering an era of darkness. And if it's not clear, we are all in on Destiny 2. <laughs> Last year, we laid out a vision my... for the game that we wanted to build the definitive Laptop action support MMO. support streaming both of these Place at the same time. Place it in an awesome evolving world right. where you can play anytime. We'll see you in five minutes when you get your laptop. Friends. Sorry, back up. We are still completely yeah, good. <laughs> committed to this ambitious vision, and we're going to continue reaching to deliver it in Destiny 2. And to be clear, listen, I'm sure like over here in the Twitch chat, there's like you know, <laughs> some mix of salt and space dad. You know, we haven't gotten everything right out of it. Before. You know, for example, we've already begun working on changes that we're going to make to our seasonal model in year four to get a bunch of the FOMO that's in the game right now out of it. And this Are you is still a with me? Response yep. not only to your feedback, but just, you know, awesome. we took it in the wrong direction. You can, you can lay that at me. Hmm. We're also working on things like transmog and that's going to be an experience that means can't wait for that to be kind of always valuable to you because it can always represent like a fully implemented and we've got a bunch of other right? improvements to the experience that we're working on things like the ah. quest lock is going to get like another awesome revision we've got like small touches okay like a oft requested one and i th i think when we started beyond light uh this was one that uh, i made to my exact in in you know the uh yeah getting a dark <laughs> title screen back in destiny so that Okay, the light, working, the actually. Heat of the title screen both. doesn't light up your entire apartment. <laughs> yes. So there are the small features, but then there's also some big features, and maybe one of the biggest is next generation support. I think one of the most exciting things we're going to talk about is the game's going to run at 60 frames per second and 4K resolution. 
on the new hardware. Oh, We're also thank God. Really happy to say that whatever <laughs> content you already own or will own in Destiny 2 will come with you to your next generation console of choice at no extra charge. On PlayStation, you'll be able to upgrade oh. to PlayStation 5 for free. And on Xbox, we will support smart <laughs> Luke Smith, yes. In oh, plain shit, English, what did he just say? If you own Destiny 2 expansion content on those platforms now or in the future or by Beyond Light in September, you can keep playing on the same family consoles for free without buying the expansions again. We think that's going to be awesome. I think you basically said and also you like, with Xbox. don't have to up your friends list yeah. either because yeah. we're going to support intergenerational crossplay uh, uh, within each console platform ecosystem as well. <laughs> this means that if you your brother is playing on PS4 and your sister's playing on PS5, all three of you can play together. Oh, okay. The same thing in the Xbox ecosystem. Yeah. This year we're focused on intergenerational play. Hopefully That's next amazing. year we can finally do the thing and get them all playing together in the same ecosystem. I don't know if you understood there. It's just like Shadowkeep was cool. From and PS4 to PS5 can cross play, not across it. PS4 so, to Xbox. Uh, no. Not yet. But they said they want to. And you know, spruce it up, and that's yeah. It's not up to them, unfortunately. We're not doing that with this fall's <laughs> destination, Europa. It's a brand new place you've never been before, and both the Witch Queen and Lightfall are going to also include brand new, never before seen destinations. These expansions will stretch oh. out across a timeline that's going to bring much anticipated enemies to the forefront and hopefully deliver some twists, turns, drama that uh, we don't think anyone's going to see coming. But to deliver these big content beats each and every year and keep building on top of our seasonal experiences while making technological leaps forward, we also need to make some big changes to the way we treat some of our older legacy content. The stuff that Maybe it's mm. getting a little long in the tooth that you're not really looking at and playing anymore. You're not. De Destiny, yeah. Destiny 2 is uh. a huge game. We have nine destinations, 40 story missions, 54 adventures, 42 lost <laughs> sectors, 17 strikes, 31 PvP maps, 7 raids, and hundreds of game systems that layer on top of that. I could go on, and I probably screwed up one of those numbers. The fact is, the game is too large to efficiently update and maintain. We're on track to be like 115 gigabytes on PlayStation alone, and our updates Jesus. are huge, and we're starting That's to reach lot. limits of our ability to patch. We don't want to start over from scratch and build a sequel. And in order to make a sequel, we oh, have shit. to stop supporting Destiny 2. Like, it would effectively go mm -hmm. down. You know, we talk about a single evolving world. A single evolving world. Not multiple evolving worlds, but a single evolving world. And what? we don't want people to have to start over. We don't want they don't to want to make a sequel. Yeah. Our game systems so it's been hinted at, kind of, but they straight up just came out and said it now. Off. So mm -hmm. instead, here's our plan. Each year, just as a new expansion comes out, we're going to cycle older, less actively played activity and destination content out of the live game and into what we're calling the Destiny Content Vault, the DCV. <laughs> Moving content into this vault is going to allow us to add support for <laughs> what was that smile? Years, including <laughs> Beyond Light, The Witch Queen, and Lightfall. This vault is also going to allow us to take content from Destiny 1, do some work on it, get it ready to come back into the Destiny 2 ecosystem. Oh. So we're not just going to be taking stuff away. We're also going to be going into those the classic vaults and kind of bringing some stuff back or unvaulting activity and destination content each year. Thinking about the greatest hits. Interesting. Destiny, right? Like, what's yeah. the new tracks we can lay down? Yeah. I feel like that's never been done before. The past that was like, like no. Cool that could be made even better if it existed today. And what, is, what does that look like? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that people, there's a lot of awesome stuff that the team has built over the you know six years of six years of making Destiny and that Destiny 2 players totally have missed out on. Like later this year, Destiny 1's Cosmodrome is coming back this fall as a selectable destination. It's three strikes are also gonna come back oh. in season 12 and season 13. And part of the awesome thing here is a bunch of players haven't played Sepix. Sepix was the strike from the beta way back in like summer 2014. It is the like the oldest, it was like the definitive, most... the definitive like original strike that yeah. we felt like hit the right notes. Yeah, like in, in Destiny One, right? And yeah. we left all mm -hmm. that behind when we made Destiny Two, and we're saying like we don't want to do that again. Well, let's not do that again, but let's also reach into the past and like bring it into the present. But there's a lot of great content in our past, and. Maybe this year we'll see a, a classic raid come back. I think it'd be pretty amazing this year to see the Vault of Glass kind of unvaulted and returned in front of players. Like, I can imagine nice. using, like, champion Praetorians instead of just regular Praetorians and kind of updating it slightly to the modern context. 
uh, but still preserving that like classic feel. This fall, when the expansion comes out, not only are we going to be bringing back Cosmodrome and loud. adding Europa, yeah, I know, we're right. going to look at some of the content that's been in the game for a long time, that's been free, that isn't actively played, and that's, that's when some of that is going to be vaulted. Well, after the show, we're going to have a much more in-depth article that you can read in our plans for, for vaulting content on Bungie.net and why we're taking this unprecedented approach. I forgot to take notes. This year <laughs> and for the game <laughs> forward. Oh, well. We're also going to be conducting a bunch of interviews to answer your big questions, and we will continue the conversation with coverage in our ongoing This Week at Bungie community conversations, as well as there will be a bunch of player support and DPS articles about this all summer long. You know, we've, we've placed a bunch of bets on the Destiny Cosmic Board, whether it's the Traveler waking up, whether it's the Stranger dissolving after telling you, you know, there's, there's so much more to explore out there. <laughs> And so that she doesn't have time to explain how she doesn't have time to explain. <laughs> right. Here's a look at the beginning of those threads coming home to roost this summer. Oh, in season of arrivals. Season yeah. of... Is that what you just said? I think so. Yeah, season of arrivals. It was oh yeah, that was in, already. Um, yeah, that was already the leaked. Yeah. Has been reduced to smoldering ash, and with allies like Rasputin, who can stop us? It's like the one and only time I've heard Zavala be um, confident Titan about anything. It's like, oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> their shadow reaches. Is their message a warning? Oh. oh. We can't know until we hear their words for ourselves. Oh fuck. You bring weapons. Yo. You will not. <gasps> we offer only truth. That was Dark Trinker. The yeah, it was. Out, but something interferes. Dude, that was probably my favorite exotic. Oh, sh King hold on. Savathun. Oh. We are the final line. Oh. Second collapse. What the fuck? Yes, more trace rifles. Damn. That was the nine. Did you see that? Yep. Yep. And that was that, that exotic sword from D1 as well, the one that shoots out the arc mm -hmm. disc. So that's similar the to how um, and it starts Black Talon works right now. At 10 a.m. Pacific. So today, <laughs> we looked at a bunch of stuff. We talked about so the Destiny content vault. After this stream, I'm just going to immediately into hop into playing. <laughs> honestly, so am I. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know if we I'm going to work today. We looked into the far future <laughs> with the Witch Queen and Lightfall. And we also talked about Beyond Light, which is the beginning of a new era in Destiny 2. And if pre-ordering is kind of your thing, like the pre-orders are going to go live today. Like if you're, if you're interested, there's some, there's some sweet bonuses. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the, the summary of the show. Uh, we're and you're, if you're excited about the start of Beyond Light and where we're headed, well, the season arrivals, we just, it's kind of like a prelude. You know, it's, it's really setting up that story, and so we encourage you to get in and play. There's one more thing I totally forgot. Uh, so, yeah, so I think today, oh. at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to launch a brand new dungeon called Prophecy. Uh, Prophecy is a dungeon that oh. involves the Nine, and that's kind of like all I'm going to say about it, because there's, there's a little bit of business uh, to get to with it, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap. But it's got a brand new set of armor for you to chase. It's got some, some classic armor for you to chase. Fuck yes. It's going to be at a really high power level, which means oh. it's like a, a solid day's work plus a little bit of skill to, to summit that mountain. It's uh, free for all players. It's free for all players. And we're going to show you a trailer in just a second. If you don't want to see anything from the dungeon, just click the little red X or like get up and go. Have a make an omelet and then come back and the stream will be over and you can play uh, you can play Season of Arrivals in Destiny too. And I think that's the business side, right? We're like yeah. there. We're, we've I think, I think we've yeah. handled everything. I think it's the, the time to say thank you all for tuning in and giving us your time today, and just for playing Destiny and, and, and being part of this amazing community. It has and it will continue to be a journey. On behalf of everyone at Bungie, please, 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 stay safe out there, and you know, we'll see you soon. You want to watch this, yeah? Oh, obviously. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. It's on the, uh... It's on the derelict. Yeah. 
Oh my god. What? God, that looks gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks amazing. This music. The music is incredible. What the shit? What the hell was that? Did that look like Panics to you? <laughs> it kinda did. Oh, no, 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 I don't think that's him. Yeah, the Hunter ones, uh, the Hunter and the Dito Warlock ones are okay. The Titan one, though, looks fucking awesome. Yeah, Daito Foundry? Yeah. We haven't seen anything from them in a long time. Jeez, I don't think not... we've ever seen anything from them. Oh my god, dude. I'm thinking that's the end. I think so, yeah. I mean, once Bungie's done it once again, they've got me hooked. Yeah, I mean, of course. They're so good at my building hype every my single hype time. Is, my, my spire is four. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've, got, yeah, I've got a couple things I want to touch on there. Yeah, let me I think I'm gonna. Ex I think I'm going to exit the stream here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. So that was something. I swear there was a scene in there where I saw Zavala in the old power really when for when the, eris for was the... showing him the savathun oh. emblem oh or mark or whatever did you know it kind of looked it, it wasn't where he stands normally anyways that's for sure no i thought i thought it looked like his uh his office that maybe they, that they, um, it, it might yeah. have been that too i just saw like a desk with windows in the back and i was like oh maybe oh, yeah. maybe that's what because that's mm -hmm. what the, the old power was like too it had the windows behind them yeah, I'm gonna have to go back, and I'm definitely gonna have to go back and look at that and those trailers that they dropped there. I can't believe that they're they're they've placed the roadmaps and like the names for all of the expansions until 2022. That's actually insane. I haven't seen any sort of like pre-planning from a game designer like that in ever. Yeah. With my with my like hundreds of games worth of experience, which I really don't have. Oh dear, I've made it. Oh, no. Yeah, I have to use the washroom really badly right now. This coffee is starting to get to me, so I'll be back in a couple minutes here. Okay. Riff for me. Will do. Alrighty, listeners. If I do end up uploading Spotify, I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be starting up Destiny in the background. <laughs> you might hear that. <laughs> um, if it'll start, that is good. Okay, the what did we all what did we see? We saw is I really like the beginning. So unfortunately you won't hear it because we weren't ready to go live until like the last couple minutes. But what they did it, oh Bungie Destiny two is temporarily at capacity. What <laughs> what a surprise. Um they had a, at the very start, they just had a bar counting down eight minutes and however many seconds, um, which is how long George Floyd was pinned by that uh, cop in Minneapolis, I believe. Um, I thought that was really powerful. It really made you realize how long that was. Um, and then. We saw the trailer with so Exo Stranger's back. Saw Eris Moore and she had crazy fucking darkness powers going on. And the Drifter was there as well. We know the pyramid ships are there. There is crazy stuff going on around the pyramid ships, that's for sure. Some weird effects going on. 
Excuse me. Oh, I think I might be in a game now. <laughs> of course, it's immediately at capacity. Oh yeah, yeah. I really, really like the idea of the 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 content vault. The, what do they call it? Destiny content vault. The DCV. That's such a cool idea. I feel like I've never seen that before in a game. Maybe I don't know. I've never played World of Warcraft. Maybe you could argue that some of their stuff, like they they do stuff like that. Because I know, like Lord of the Rings Online, they uh, they'll have events come back in, you know. But that's kind of more like seasonal, like 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 Destiny already has, where they have the um, Festival of the Lost and all that kind of stuff. Um. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I feel like I've never seen that before. Having, like, all-time hits. <laughs> Destiny is saved somewhere so they can just bring that, 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 um... Uh, I have lost my connection to servers. Excellent. Oh, I'll try again. Um, like, all-time hits of Destiny content and, like, bring it back in. Um, and I'm assuming it'll just be like for a short period, like maybe like a season we'll have Prison of Elders back and you get to go play Prison of Elders for old time's sake um, yeah like I said you can definitely hear Destiny <laughs> starting up and closing in the background um, I mean obviously the darkness powers are fucking crazy I still kind of wonder if it will be actually a full new subclass. Well, I guess we're about to find out, hey? Hey, welcome back, Cole. Doesn't have his head. Alright, what's the sitch? What's going on? Uh, not what much. Welcome back. I was just going to Thanks. say... So, I log... I'm, I've, I'm logged into Destiny right now. Mm -hmm. um, you might want to start it up as well because it, okay. there is like a little bit of a delay of a download time yeah. yeah uh not a download time but like it was like destiny 2 is at capacity you will mm. be put in in the order that you uh, uh yeah whatever um it didn't take very long like i'm already in it now but yeah just heads up wait what what's up i am confused what happened Is it yet to go down? Yeah, no, it goes down at 10 a.m. Oh, shoot. I, I keep getting the two mixed up. The, <laughs> the, the stream uh, start time and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess everybody's just like fucking... That's why Destiny's so busy right now. Everybody's like, oh, I gotta <laughs> grind yeah, out the... <laughs> the <boundaries." laughs> How many in our chat? No viewers in our chat. Yeah, that's, no. That, that, that's fine. That is okay. Um, yeah, that was a actually, that was a hell of a reveal stream. I gotta say. I'm, yeah. So I was I'm just excited. I was just talking. I I'm trying to decide if I want to upload this to Spotify or not. Mm, um, because a, a lot will be lost because they'll just hear our reactions to what's being shown on screen. Yeah. Um, I mean, what you could do is you could cut the audio. Um, and like you could just cut the audio for where where we start talking about it. Uh, That's true. Yeah. yeah, maybe I could do that. Okay, so welcome to another Destiny podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hello, Spotify <laughs> listeners. Here is an exclusive Bungie <laughs> reveal um, discussion review. Unfortunately, like I said, I forgot to take notes. Um, I so... took a few notes. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll repeat what I just said a second ago. So, it started out with, at the very beginning, what Bungie did is there was a bar counting down eight minutes and however many seconds, I don't remember exactly. Um, and it, it was just that bar, and they were basically saying on the screen, this is how long George Floyd was pinned by the police until he passed away um, in Minneapolis, I believe. Yeah. Um, and that was it. Like it just made you, made you sit there, 
and it really drove home how long how long eight those minutes eight is, minutes yeah. are um i mean and obviously it's going to be even longer if you're in a high stress environment such as mm. he was um so i thought that was really powerful i really am so happy it, it, it's in a weird way <laughs> that bungie is so involved in this Mm -hmm. you know like obviously it's better if they didn't have to if it just yeah. didn't happen at all but it's it's that's, that's not that's not the reality of the world yeah and it's just so awesome to be yeah. a fan of a company like bungie because you can feel they, good they about are, it yeah they're very clearly outspoken against all of what's happening right now yeah do you know all, do you know all of the injustice so yeah there was, hang on let me pull this up here um let me see i think i saved it it was a post on reddit yeah, so Jason Schreer, um, Cosmo, DMG, P. Parsons, I'm not sure who that is, and this person, Irk McGurk on Twitter, I don't, obviously yeah. that's not their real name. They're all Bungie staff, as you know, of Cosmo and, and DMG and Jason Schreer. Mm -hmm. um, they were uh, tear gassed by police in Seattle. So it's just hitting even oh, closer to home actually? for them. Yeah. Oh, that's I didn't realize that. That's that's insane. Yeah. Um, I think they were just out with like one of the protests or whatever. Um, anyway, so that was a very powerful way to start it all off, and then it yeah, went it. to they talked a little bit. Um, Noseworthy and Luke Smith talked for a bit, and then it went into the the. It was a trailer, really. It wasn't a teaser. Yeah. Because they kind of combined the two teasers that we'd already had, plus a bit of extra, um, at which point... A bit of extra? There's yeah. so much extra. Holy shit. Uh, and then what, awesome. came up, what came up next? They talked for a bit about, like, Destiny overall, mm -hmm. I think. And then there was the reveal of what was coming up next, the coming se or, uh, yeah, seasons coming expansions um and they talked about the dungeon is there anything else yeah anything else like i'm just trying to hit the broad topics and then we can go into details is there anything else that they talked about um i think just, that's about oh the destiny content vault yeah 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 that's a pretty big thing that uh yeah. that i think definitely needs to be talked about yeah so in the new trailer we see Eris and the Drifter. And and, 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 your boy called it. Your boy called it. The yeah. Exo Stranger is back, baby. The Exo Stranger is coming back to Destiny. And she has the coolest looking sparrow. And I saw and, Newt almost bust a nut at the ghost that he had. Yeah, if, if it is a ghost, I don't know. Um, It looked like, it was floating around like a ghost would. But it, it was, had like it was definitely her ghost. Yeah, it had like wings and shit. It was mm -hmm. fucking awesome. And by the way, um, the Exo Stranger is also called Elsie Bray. If anybody was, yep, did not know that in the in the Spotify listeners. Um. So and so what's happened is Elsie Bray has asked the Drifter and Eris Morn with her new darkness powers to come to Europa. Uh, to show them something that has to do with a, a pyramid ship. Uh, oh, so it was. Sorry? I didn't. I didn't quite catch that. It was Elsie that had uh, that had called them there. Yeah, yeah. She said, "This is oh. why I brought you, or I brought you here to show you this, or something like that, or this is what I brought you, show, brought you here to show you." Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I guess we're probably gonna learn the darkness powers from Eris, right? Like she's probably gonna send us on a quest to learn them. Yeah. Well, I think Starlight nailed it on the head, and he said that Eris would be the perfect liaison between uh, the light and the dark, and she would be the one to kind of teach us that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, yeah Starlight actually he called it. Yeah. Not that he's here right now; he's he's sleeping off his uh, his Starlight grind. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the poor guy, holy hell! He did it though. He reached a hundred, like the day yeah. before the reset, I think. Yeah, like that was like the, the Starlight grind that he did for a season of. Um, uh... Right, season of dawn was pretty good, but this is just insane. What was it like eighty-three levels in fourteen days or something like that? Yeah, which I think he said was actually less than last grind. 
But I think this grind, he it was a lot harder for him with work, work kept getting in the way. It was, yeah. Or like, well, like okay, I guess. <laughs> Is it is it no, the no, grind no, 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 got no, no, in the way of right. work or did work get in the way of the grind? <laughs> I think I think we all know the real answer to that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to? Sorry, I'm just adjusting my chair. <sighs> wanted to mention about the uh, the the new trailer. Um, not particularly. Yeah. It, it, there's there was all there was honestly so much that that flashed by so quickly. Yeah, we're definitely like everybody's gonna have to go back and watch it because I'm sure True. like Bungie is like they always do that where they they stick a little like half second clip of something in there and it's like a huge fucking lore deal. So I know that yeah, everybody's exactly. gonna have to go back and watch that. Yeah. Um. Then let's see what else. What came after that? They talked for a bit. They mentioned that they don't want to make a sequel, which is huge. Yeah. Because for a while it's been like they've been saying we're full, like a sequel might become her, like a sequel was planned, but right now we're just focusing on Destiny 2. And now they're straight up just saying, they're, hey, nah. <laughs> they're going, yeah, nah. Yeah. So that's a, that's a change in tone from what they were saying before. Um, I <laughs> just saw a tweet from Mylan that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> Holy fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um let's see. What was did you happen to write down what like what order they kinda went in? Uh for the um for the seasons? Or sorry, for the, the expansions. Uh just like whatever they were talking about or what like well, I got a couple things down. Um, they they mentioned one of the big things that I do want to talk about is that they mentioned uh, that they so they showed that um, like all the big expansions from the past, like they showed the original, oh, yeah. um, like the, like the Dark Below, then House of Wolves, then Taken King, Rise of Iron, um, Destiny Two, and then Forsaken, and then Shadowkeep, and then they went on to show what that, was coming up. Uh, the what's coming up beyond light but they went beyond that <laughs> um and they they said that so beyond light is coming in 2020 uh there's going to be another expansion in fall of 2021 called the witch queen and uh then another expansion in 20 fall of 2022 called lightfall where we saw a little graphic of the traveler being replaced by a doom dorito by a pyramid ship so that's oh like, yeah that's a good point yeah mm -hmm. i didn't even think of that like what if we end up having both like above the city or or just a because that was that was what that was what um or okay hang, hang, what if we end up having both or just the pyramid ship and over the mm -hmm. city because that was what well, osiris saw in the in multiple timelines in yeah. the infinite forest the vex being the gigantic calculation probability machine that they are and using the infinite forest um he he went across thousands of different timelines and the vex continuously came to this conclusion that there would be a darkness ship above the last city in place of the traveler yeah sometime in the future um, so uh your boy's ready for some lore <laughs> i am prepped and obviously, we're gonna need the darkness to defeat Savathun. Yeah. So that almost makes it seem like we're like the veil and the darkness are not the big bads in the overall Destiny story. Hey. I think it's really ambiguous at this point, honestly. Because I can't see Savathun and Jivu Arath being the big bads, considering they're either on par with or just above the power level of Oryx. Oryx took his power from the Worm Gods, and I believe the Worm Gods took their power from the Darkness itself. I don't know. It all depends on where you want to look at them in the hierarchy of how powerful they are. Yeah. Um, but, like... It's possible. So... Here's like, a... is the darkness going to be a tool more than anything else? Yeah, and also because when when Callus saw the edge of the universe, basically, and he looked mm -hmm. into nothing, that he didn't 
say that he saw pyramid ships. Right? He did, like, no, he just he saw just nothing. Saw, yeah. He saw so, the void. Yeah. So I almost wonder if if that's going to somehow be the quote-unquote big bad. Yeah. That's, that's actually a good point. I hadn't considered that. Like, I wonder if, like, the big bad, uh, I wonder if what Bungie's getting at is that the big bad is going to be entropy. Yeah. And it's just, like, the, the decay of everything. And, every, every, like, everything's trying to avoid that in the end, and we're, somehow we're going to maybe find a way to transcend all of that. I, I honestly have no idea. There are so many theories running around in my head right yeah. now. Yeah. And there was also, there was someone talking during, I don't, I just remember this for some reason. Um, it doesn't really tie in very much, but there was someone talking during the trailer who was saying, or maybe it was actually later, I don't no, yeah, it wasn't during the trailer that you missed. It was it was during like the up like the very end kind of giant reveal. Yeah. Um it was saying that their their home had fallen to the darkness and they will not allow it to happen here or oh, something yeah. like that. I yeah, do I you do think that, that was Elsie Bray talking and she was at, the one that we have is actually from an alternate timeline? It's possible they have they have brought up the idea of multiple timelines quite recently actually in season of undying so when the, oh yeah that's a lord that's a lore tab that i completely wanted to get into and i never did is the uh the story of praedith because the 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 season of the undying lore book is all about praedith and how he actually quote unquote survived the vault of glass and was actually a prisoner in there yeah and it, it dealt with him because he was in this the vault of glass because he was in in the nexus of all timelines itself he was able to communicate back and forth with with the same person like the same group of people across different timelines and so hundreds of versions of four or five or six people were trying to save him at the same time and i want to get into that at some point but sorry what what did you just i'm trying to find the chat in uh just in the chat and i forgot i because last time i set this podcast up for two people oh. i'd set it up for starlight i wasn't sure if you were going to make it back for mystic beach in time yeah that's fair so it's <laughs> set up for starlight that's actually amazing <laughs> all righty can i how many burps this? are you at i think it was three. it's uh, it's something obscene yeah um also, good morning, know, Ginger. Can't, can't... Yeah, good morning, Ginger. What's up, girl? Can I not do this? Can I not just fucking fuck? Fucking fuck. I'm just trying to figure out how to come on laptop. Work with me here. Um. Okay, so what were we just talking about? They were talking about the oh yeah, the upcoming seasons facing off Sabbath and. Facing off against Sabbath in Sabbath thought. Sabbath thought. That's yeah, that's what I'm gonna call her from that one. T- if she takes, she's a thought. <laughs> Fuck me. Um Okay. So oh yeah, and then I thought maybe they were back in the old tower just from that short clip that i saw but again that's something that we'll have to go go back and watch i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty dead certain it was zavala's office i don't mean to burst your bubble here but yeah um i'm gonna see if they have the video up on uh youtube yet okay yeah they do here so what we'll do is we'll go back to My hair is so long right now. There's actually not much of a delay between us talking and then uh this. Oh boy. <laughs> Recommended for you. Fa <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, it looks like Deej got his one thousand voices. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's actually amazing. <laughs> okay, so we'll have the video up on screen now. This is perfect. So, that unfortunately, it means again Spotify listeners are in the background, video in the background, but 
that's okay. Uh, coffee, very strong, and a lot of Attaboy. it. Attaboy. Attaboy. And uh, it's very difficult <laughs> podcast stream. <laughs> oh. Okay. You're just pour myself my second cup right now. Let's see here. Okay, here's the, the teaser. Or the trailer, really. Turn it down, actually. Ooh, who's a be who's a better EXO? The EXO Stranger or uh, Ada? Oh, I don't I don't want to have to choose. <laughs> oh God. Um. Oh yeah, is oh, that God. the? Yeah, there is no time to explain. What's she burning? That, yeah, that was it, right? I was gonna say. What is yeah. she burning? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. Obviously, some. Thing that she doesn't want anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no kidding. I'm watching it as a slight delay because I'm watching it on the Twitch stream right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. No time to explain. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to tell. Mm. Warsat? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh no! It looks—it just looks like a bonfire. Yeah, it could be. Maybe she. Oh, yeah, maybe it's not. Maybe not everything is a symbol, <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe. her sparrow though. Oh my god. Her sparrow is, so is super cool. The ship designs are getting incredible. Like they're actually yeah. looking futuristic instead of these. Like I, I haven't. I can't, what the hell's going on there? What's what's up with Eris? Eris is is yeah. Her powers are fucking bizarro. I think. Yeah, I think she's. She's going like super saiyan at this point she's so fucking powerful now um it shows it again um a little bit better we'll, we'll pause it again at that point those were some weird p patterns in the snow behind underneath her too mm -hmm. so that's the pyramid God. ship obviously <laughs> that thing yeah dude eris looks fucking badass I know, right? Holy <laughs> shit. That's actually a great screen grab right there. Yeah. Hopefully somebody makes a wallpaper out of that, like a high def. Oh, There's yeah. the Drifter. The Drifter looks pretty slick as well. Honestly. Yeah. Looking very tight-esque. She no, just dropped she something just... off her sparrow there. Do you see that? I wonder if that'll be a new... Yeah. What if there's what if an... it'll be, like, thrusters or something? Yeah. Or, like, temporal... Um... Oh. oh yeah, so we've... It's weird, it looks like Eris is... Oh, I don't know. I guess they're all kind of... Oh my god, that thing is so cool. I like the uh, the aspect of, like, it's a slight stat. Like, right there, the drifter's got his hand on his gun. Like, that's yeah. so cool, because, like, it's kind of like a, almost like a throwback to when he was on that other icy planet outside oh, of the solar point. system. Yeah. And he ends up killing all his crew, because they all go crazy. Yeah. Dude, if that's a ghost... Like that you can get. Got to be, yeah. Holy fuck! This game is gonna be so sick. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually it's get the I'm ghost, but but like, yeah, something like it, right? Yeah. But like I said, maybe she's from an alternate dimension, and that's what ghosts it's look possible. like there. Yeah, that's a good point. Or alternate timeline, or if they're just saying like, God, that is such a good name for an expansion, Beyond Light. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, uh, and in okay, now they're talking. First destinations we envisioned long ago when Destiny began. Mm, this is the me. birthplace of the EXO. And the site he does look like Tibbs. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It's gonna face Aramis. <laughs> yeah. Fallen warrior wields oh yeah, Aramis. A brand new power born from a very yeah, so like we're, are, are, we're, like we're facing you. off against Aramis. Is, is it this new season or is it in the expansion? Um. Brand new As a player, you're the birthplace of the EXO. First destination break becomes a pretty interesting tool twitter well it must be this season because they just showed the, the trailer for this season right is the beginning of a brand new era in yeah this oh, they just said it hang on you know it is destiny beam okay okay oh, shit, okay hang on oh. beyond light and going forth you know it is the beginning of a brand new era in destiny looking around and finding stones to uncover a character who says that she's not forged in light, and where the two of you meet, ground can break, becomes a pretty interesting tool to, to let... Not just an yeah, this is all pretty, like, 
So, uh, I'm just going to listen to this whole thing. Finally time to explain. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <sighs> you know, listen, like some jerk said... I mean, us on the, uh, in the uh, Spotify audio can't, can't hear shit, but... Yeah. As you get back into Destiny and you keep like looking around... Yeah, they just announced like, three years of content. Damn straight, Bife. Uh, straight. Yeah, Spotify will be able to hear it, though. Oh, will they? Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's Is this through. fucking Tron? <laughs> okay, Glad. hang on. This. What? <laughs> Stones to uncover a character who says that she's get back into destiny and you keep like looking around and finding stones to uncover a character who says that she's not forged in light and where the two of you Luke is it finally time to explain Ugh. you know listen like some jerk said that the st we were done with the stranger's story and as you get back into destiny and you keep like looking around and finding stones to uncover a character who says that she's not forged in light, and where the two of you meet, ground can break, becomes a pretty interesting tool to, to leverage here in uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light and going forward. You know, it is the beginning of a brand new era. Okay, that was a little confusing. So he says, our character says she's not forged in light, and where the two of you meet can be an interesting area, or something like that. I think, so originally I thought he was talking about, like, our character is in the playable characters. Yeah. I think maybe he's saying our character is in, like, the Exo Stranger is as in... Like, she's a character made by Bungie, so that I think that's what he meant. Right. Destiny 2. This yeah, that fall, makes sense. You're going to discover Europa, a brand new destination, and this fall. the first destination. Fuck, man. Oh my god, yeah, Vault of Glass returning means. Oh, <gasps> we get the Vex Mythoclast. Oh, yeah. Dude, what if they add in the. What was it? The seventh chest? That, oh, yeah. That everybody was always looking for? Oh, I wonder if they will. That'd be awesome. Um, okay, hang on. A brand new destination, and one of the first destinations we envisioned. Goddamn, Ginger. <laughs> what the fuck are you tweeting about? Uh, 16 hours ago. And the site of a newly active pyramid shape. As a player, you're going to face... Aramis, Up is down, light is dark. Enter the realm of the nine. Oh, I'm, I, I'm so stoked for this new dungeon, dude. Yeah. Okay, it's for called a second. The new... <laughs> a very ancient darkness. And like you, wielding a brand new power born from a very ancient darkness. Okay, so he says Aramis is wielding a brand new power born from a very ancient darkness. Okay. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I was talking about the new dungeon. Uh, it's called... Uh, fuck, what the hell was it called again? Prophecy. Right. I'm going to have to listen. I'm going to have to find the, the music that they were using for that. Uh, for that yeah, trailer. it was a really good song. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep skipping through mm -hmm. this trailer here. Like you, or a reveal. Aramis okay. is a leader, but I'm like... To the cottons of Europa. The place when yeah, I heard it, yeah. He's doing it. There's a lot more to Europa. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the next segment of video. Oh right, this Where is I the the gameplay. I have witnessed this firsthand. Oh, here we go. This right. is what I was this is what we were talking about. Okay, hang on. Where I come from, the darkness one. Where I come from, the darkness one. I have witnessed this firsthand. I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen. I refuse to let it happen again. And now oh, let's okay, see. Okay, so she is from an alternate timeline. Let's see if I can go back and find where the Exos Stranger talks for and compare the two voices. Oh, smart move. Yeah. She yeah, I think it is. I think it is her talking. Okay. So cool. where I come from, the darkness... Yeah, so it must be... She's from an alternate timeline. Yeah, so our Elsie Bray got lost to the time stream then, and we're getting this version of her back? I guess so. Must be. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep playing the trailer, or the pre-alpha footage. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm gonna watch the, um... Yeah. My laptop is also running fine right now. This is great. Nice. Okay, so... There's Fallen on Europa. It's time to yep. And Vex. It, it kind of pisses me off that the Fallen are always... Like, how the fuck did the Fallen get here? <laughs> If we yeah, did right? it, if we can't, how do they make it here? Oh my god. They must have gotten there a long time ago, probably. Yeah. This is a truth we 
I'm getting goosebumps, man, watching this trailer for the Prophecy Dungeon. Yeah. Holy shit. Man. Lots of Fallen. Oh. New Sparrows shown there. There's like a darkness kind of Fallen looking thing. Not like taken by orcs. Yeah. And it's got a big trial and goal on its back, so I think that's actually like from the pyramid ship. Yeah. Um, so I guess people are no doubt going to be well, like, uh, yeah, it's going to, it's a fall and it's got four arms. People are probably going to be upset that there isn't new actual enemies. Like people were saying, like, I wish, I really hope no. the veil are actually like a brand new race or species I'm, I'm rather. Sure they, I'm sure they will be honestly. Yeah. I think maybe. Yeah, I think maybe in the expansion rather than in the season. Yeah, well, because right now, this like season of arrivals is all about uh, destiny. I think this is the last step that they need in this game of chess that they're playing. They like all of the pieces are finally moving into where they need to be to kick everything off. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm I'm all right with waiting another couple months with not seeing any darkness enemies, although, although we did see some footage of that darkness. That small darkness ship appearing. Um, oh yeah, the, of the guardians' heads looks yeah. like a public event kind of. Okay, so when we get to that, we'll we'll get a little bit of a yeah. better idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna listen to this song again. I've got to find out what this is. The line between light and dark is so very thin. I also find it really interesting how. She said she quotes this the line that that Aldrin said, the line between light and dark is so very thin. So yeah. that's like that's really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's it seems like there's some kind of connection going on between the two of them. Yeah. So I don't know. That'll be interesting to see how that if there's a if there's like a proper mm -hmm. connection there. Hey, Ginger, welcome back to the chat. Hey, what's up, girl? You want to join the call? <laughs> yeah, actually. Let's bring her in if she's if she wants to join. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep playing, though. <laughs> Cause, so this is where we see the darkness powers. Let's cross it together. Yeah. Let's cross it together. She's talking about the darkness powers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That was a staff. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be so slick. Those were like pickaxes. Did you see that? So it's all very icy oh, yeah. themed, hey? Yeah. Makes well, I guess not. The, it seems like, like the darkness is cold. <laughs> God, man, that Bruh. is so cool. <laughs> Do you think that's the activation of a new super or? I think so. I think so. But yeah, it does look very, very icy. You feel like you won't really know enough to actually talk about it? That's okay, Ginger. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Bold of you to assume we know what we're doing here. That's okay. You don't need a webcam if you don't. Because um, I know you usually don't stream with one. So um, Here, let me invite you in. And uh, up to you. Do you want to accept it or not? That's Sweet. Nice. All right. It looks, yeah, it looks like she's joining in. Awesome. Fuck, though. Oh yeah, that's actually. I just saw this question on. Um, hello. I'm just calling her right now. Yeah, no, I just saw this question on uh, on YouTube under one of the trailers. Um, if I started, so I got out of Destiny a while back. If I start playing now, is Shadow included in the free to play model? Do you think that they'll, like, when September hits, September twenty second hits, they'll go, they'll add um, Shadow Keep into the free to play model? Also, welcome to the call, Ginger. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How's it going with you? Mm -hmm. Not bad. I... <laughs> have you guys ever talked before, actually? Yeah, we have. We played. Yeah, we played. Yeah, we played Sick Fight that one night. Oh yeah, God, that was a grand old time, wasn't it? <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're so gonna like have to get that going again. In the morning. Woof. Yeah. Well, yeah. especially for yeah. you, you're a couple hours ahead <laughs> yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty late. <laughs> Yeah, I think for us it was like one. 
We're like, yeah. what? Yeah, you're getting off? It? You it's only one o'clock. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so we're just watching. I don't know if you. Oh yeah, obviously you're watching. Um, we're just watching through the whole reveal. Yeah. Um, nice, nice. And so right now we're just looking at like the new what what seems to be like a darkness subclass instead of just a like I thought maybe it would be like the war mine cells and like they're like it's an effect that you can equip onto your character but it's not like an actual subclass. Yeah. But this looks like a proper subclass. It looks yeah, it almost looks like looks like like the first layer of of our gar of that guardian layer is kind of coming apart, like flaking, like like burning paper. Yeah, almost. it's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. I love the pickaxes. Oh. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's like, new new re rewind it and, and show okay. the uh, like look the pickaxe flip again. It's so funny. Yeah, I'll just cool. go right back to the beginning of this uh, yeah, section well. of the darkness. Oh, being yeah, there's there's the staff I was talking about. Yeah. The line between light and dark. I wonder what that is. That yeah. ball. Let's cross it together. That looks like it's some sort of everything's frozen in time right now. So. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Timey wimey shit. Yeah, right? Can you imagine? Oh god, that's so cool. Yeah. Hunters truly <laughs> are the best class. They really are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> This oh, actually, can, can you go back and pause it? I, like, it, I, th I think it showed the three subclasses there. If you keep going back and maybe go frame by frame, try... Oh, yeah, you're right. I see what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it's it's comma and... Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. So, okay. yeah, Warlocks have a staff. Hunters nice. have the ice picks. And it looks like Titans just got huge fucking arms. <laughs> Are we surprised? <laughs> just... <laughs> Titan cast this and just <laughs> holds the hell out. <laughs> right? Like if that's what it looks like. Oh man, that's it's... gonna be so awesome. That I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. That's what oh, I'm looking forward so to the most. Cool. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like important... sorry. I, I was gonna say I think it's kind of important to say like this is all gonna be coming out um in September on the twenty second. Is it? I don't I I think so. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be getting this stuff in um season oh, yeah. of Rivals. Beyond. Okay, they're talk talking, talking. Beyond Light. This is in Beyond Light. Hang on. Yeah. Go back. So that's not right now. That's no. Coming it's soon. in September. No, but it's like as I was saying to Newt earlier, I'm I'm actually okay with waiting a little bit longer for this kind of stuff because it seems like Bungie is like they're just prepping the springboard to launch themselves to new heights. Yeah. Considering they laid out a roadmap for the next two years. So. I will never mind waiting for something if it gives them more time to work on it and make sure that yeah exactly. everything's right. And even even if they have more time to work on, it, obviously there's still gonna be bugs and stuff like that. Of course, I think that's yeah. it's, something it's, it's bungee, that so. <laughs> so many people don't understand is that they can't they can't play test for millions of players. Yeah, you yeah, know? they they have like twenty play testers. Exactly. Like, we're going to catch some stuff, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, here, I'm just going to turn this up a bit. I'm just going to play this and see if he says anything about what... Oh! Nice time to pause right there. Guys, I, fo I found the name of the song from the um, from the Prophecy trailer. Yeah. <gasps> lost the time. Like okay. The Deep Snow Crypt. Yes! There you go. That one I Lore heard corner. Of. That one I yeah. heard of, yeah. You're doing it. There's a lot more to Europa than you might imagine. Europa? And here's your first look. A gameplay from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Oh, it's called Lust and Beyond Giant. Light. So what he said it's from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Is that the expansion or the season? <laughs> That's the season, right? Beyond no, Beyond Light is the uh is the expansion. The, oh the right, Arrivals. Is, uh, of Arrivals. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're good. We cool, we cool, we cool. So for these for these last three seasons that have that have dropped, um oh no, sorry, for Shadow Keep um season of worthy and now for a season of arrivals um the music that they've chosen is just incredible and I've, i'm actually like putting together a playlist on spotify oh, that's a good idea okay their music is always amazing though that's one thing Benji has always had oh definitely yeah 
Oh, I mean, like the last Warthog run in Halo Three, like that's oh, just yeah. like a, a line, a line of of pure um, nostalgia straight to my childhood. Yeah, I still have that song on my gaming playlist whenever I really want to uh, kick it into high gear. Yeah, you gotta keep playing. Okay. The uh, Beyond Light coming expansion trailer. Here's Aramis. I'm assuming. It has to be. Yeah, I'm so glad we're finally getting Aramis into the story. September 22nd. There you go. So you're right. So, yeah. Aramis yeah. is the um is the fallen uh, He was in the Kel? Prison of Elders, right? For a while. I think, I think she, she might have been. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to Hey, that's what I'll talk about next on our uh, uh our ep next episode. I'll talk about Aramis. Sure. So, do we want to So, next up is the the recap of previous Destiny and Destiny seasons. Do we want to watch through that? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Twenty fourteen. And its arrival changed. Oh my god. Okay, I'm I'm tossing this into the Discord chat because this is too beautiful I not to. Know. Yeah. The the music you mean? Yeah. Gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's so cool. The Exo Stranger is was in the very first mission, and she's back. She was, yeah. Six of us went down. Wasn't it? I can't remember now. I because I know when when you join in for New Light, they all yeah. That they you run through that first mission, and I can't remember if they. I think they left her in. We have murdered no, I don't. Or did they oh, remove she her? Was. She was. She was in the cutscene, I think. Yeah. I don't remember if they left that in or not. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try to find that out. Yeah. Because I feel like that gets a I little just... weird in terms of the timeline. But also, she's timey wimey, so I guess they can yeah, just say like, it's like yeah, she, she's wherever she needs to be. Yeah. yeah. Rise of Iron is so fucking good. God, man, it's such a good expansion. Back when this Wrath was old, oh, sorry. Wrath of the Machine was hands down my favorite raid. Yeah, it's so well. Put it's together. so Mad Max. So good. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, it's kind of funny to think about like that was back when it was just on console. Yeah. Like it's oh, so yeah, crazy to think point. that it was, it feels weird to think that Destiny was ever on just console. <laughs> Well, no wonder we lost to Gaul in that fight. That armor was sh was shit. Yeah, that was a that was a rough <laughs> time in Destiny. Not gonna yeah, lie. It's like like going from what what my D one Titan looks like, and then it's like hopping into D two. I was like, what in the actual fuck am I wearing? What is this ceremonial yeah. paper armor? Garbage. Crazy that the death of Cade was really like the best time in Destiny. At the time, yeah. yeah. I would actually argue even since D1. Like, I know there's lots of times in D1 that were good, but just, like, I think mm -hmm. Forsaken is probably the best time in Destiny ever. I can agree with that, actually, yeah. Because, actually, like, it, it, it was Forsaken, and, and then it went Season of... Season of the Drifter, Season of the Forge, and then Season of Opulence, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those were still, in my opinion, the best seasons because they were so dynamic compared to what we've been getting recently. And I can understand that Bungie is, has been under a lot of strain working from home and everything, but yeah, um, season yeah. of the Forge was still by far my favorite. Holy shit, that was fun! Salvation, salvation. God, that armor is so cool. Spooky spaceman. <laughs> okay, here we go. Twenty twenty Beyond Light. Which is the next expansion. <laughs> yeah. I just keep saying that to like keep it straight in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. 2021, The Witch Queen. Hell yes. God, I can't wait to face off against her. I'm gonna punch the shit out of her face. It's gonna be great. <laughs> 2022. And there's oh. the graphic I was talking about. Sorry, I'm just gonna turn this up because she says something important here. Delightful. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, here, listen to this. A side should always be taken. 
even if it's the wrong side. A side should always be taken, even if it's the wrong side. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Elsie, Elsie, what are you doing? Elsie, stop. <laughs> That'd actually be interesting. If what if she's the the bad guy at the end of it all? The exo stranger? No way. It'd be an interesting twist, though. I mean, yeah, I guess. All right. Um, we are oh, yeah. building Destiny's future. They just talk for a while, and then I think there's more. Right? Isn't there one more? Talk, 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 talk. Well, I yeah. mean, there's the the prophecy dungeon reveal. Yeah, which I'm yeah, okay yeah. With watching. Let's I'm actually watching it right now. Skip ahead to that. Did you guys see the Benji stream at all? We did. Yeah, we watched the entire thing. Did you see what they did at the beginning? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we Do talked about that. It's, it's brilliant that they did that, honestly. Amazing. Yeah. Props to them. Like, massive respect. Like, I was, yeah, I was saying to do it. I was how very it happy when I saw that. Yeah. It's like, they, like, they're very clearly outspoken against everything that's been going on, and I have the utmost respect for them right now. Um, yeah, you're talking about the eight minutes of silence, yeah, yeah. basically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was saying, like, I, I was saying how how that drives home so hard like eight minutes like it was such a long time yeah it really makes a big impact for okay. sure for sure okay um the new dungeon please 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 and the music oh my god yeah i'll turn it so, up dude the, oh my god the armor at the end of it what was it it was um dido foundry i'm actually gonna yeah. look up dido okay i'm gonna play it now okay I love that it's on the derelict too. You might have just heard Max, my apologies. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna play this full just because I love it so much. Yeah. And we can go back and watch through it. Light is dark. God, that armor! Oh my god. This looks trippy as shit. Yeah. I know, right? I, I love the synth wave kind of aspect. Oh, yeah, man. I saw I saw a tweet real quickly through my feed. It's just somebody just uh, texted in all capital letters, What is this, Tron? <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's a really accurate description. Okay. Hmm. Dido Foundry nice. Armor. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Dido is a weapon foundry of the city. Banshee 4 to 4 is a client. Dido may have been originally established during the Golden Age, as dilapidated billboards bearing the company logo can be found on the sides of buildings in the buried city area of Freehold on Mars and in the shattered oh, yeah. coast on Venus. It's Mars. I forgot about Mars. Yeah. That. You would see it, like, I don't think you really see it much in the new patrol no, area but in the old no. mars patrol zone you you definitely saw it in a number of places yeah okay. here hold on a second here uh i'm just gonna toss it into the discord real quick that's the um that's the a... symbol oh. for dido gotcha which is pretty slick actually i like that a lot okay. um dido weapons following a naming scheme where the name of a city is followed by two uh by two letter designation code, sometimes an abbreviation of the weapon type followed by a number, i.e., Saigon LR5. In Destiny 2, a hidden room on the tower can be accessed with the Dido logo and a journal of Anna Bray. Oh. Yeah, that's that's where the. I think it was the Elsie Bray journal was before. Right. And yeah. it was like hard to read because time was all mm -hmm. fucked up. I think it was Elsie Bray. Maybe it was Anna Bray's journal, but I think it was Elsie Bray's. Yeah. Okay, One way or uh, another, it was, yeah, it was all fucky. Uh, I'll continue playing this. And then this time we'll, oh. we'll pause as we go through it. And uh... <laughs> Oh, so they made the, the Jade Rabbit, the Sidonia AR-1. They made the Twilight Garrison, the Two-Tailed Fox, and the Gemini Jester. Interesting. Uh... Okay. Actually, let's back up to... I want to take a good look at it. that okay 
Kind of just looks like a fight area. Special. Sorry, hold on. Anyways. Um, okay, so this is where things look pretty fucking weird. So this looks like they're, like, captured, right? Like yeah. they're being held in place. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if there's going to be some aspect of it where, like, one person has to, quote-unquote, sacrifice themselves. Kind of yeah. like in the Garden of Salvation raid where you, like, that very first fight against the big harpy. Like, one person has to be captured and then everybody else does damage. So I wonder if it'll be kind of oh, like okay. that where you have to, like, one person... Or, or um, for example, during the State 14 fight where you're held oh, and State 14 right. finishes the fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Finish the fight. Yeah. Good throwback. Um, so one thing I really hope is true of this so i love the sparrows that riding on that riding on that area looks fucking amazing so rainbow road baby yeah yeah <laughs> everybody that plays mario kart is gonna have an unfair advantage <laughs> we're just we're just whipping red shells at taken captains like, yeah die, you um okay so this part is up is down this is interesting i wonder if there's gonna be like parts in here where gravity will change oh for it, sure it definitely looks like it like that would be sick if like what? gravity fucks around in this area it, it reminds me of like the is it mc escher painting where it's like all, all the different stairs coming in from different uh yeah, yeah. Location. that's what it reminds me of this also reminds me a lot of actually i've been playing control i don't know if either of you pay much attention to that game no it's uh oh have you you've been playing that game i just started it and it really reminds me of that because like it's like weird like dimension stuff going on kind of like um inception like you like gravity's a little bit weird like it's just kind of it's got a similar aesthetic to it yeah um where you can't really tell like what's up and what's down okay right i'll continue playing um okay this is interesting there's this floating flying thing I wonder what yeah, that's. So I have no fucking clue what that is, but so we're clearly de dealing with Taken, but it also looks like a fallen captain's head because if you skip ahead a little bit in the video, um, we do, oh you're right, like we're that's dealing him with a fallen um Archon priest almost. Oh, okay. okay, so that's probably just his spawn effect. Yeah. So who is that? Do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it kind of looked like Tanix for a second, but I don't think that is. Yeah. Him. So I don't. I have no fucking clue who that it's... is. I'm gonna look up a picture of. It's definitely, it's definitely an Archon priest, though. That's for sure. Uh... Oh, you know what? You know what helmet that is? That's that's the um. Yes, yeah, ah, uh, the the airplane helmet for Titans. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Fallen. Yeah. Um, Archon. It could also be a new enemy. It doesn't have to be an enemy from our past. Because considering we're dealing with the Nine and they've been experimenting with life forms. Oh, for you know who it is? While. Who's that? I think it's Axor. Oh, is it? Yeah. Here, let me send you a... Uh, uh, maybe not. The two, the, the two middle prongs on his head there yeah. are exactly the same as the ones that Axor has. The Axor does not have the airplane wings. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll, we'll find out at 5 p.m. today. Uh, so I, uh, you're saying sorry? that Dark Drinker might be back? Yes. yes we, yeah. we did see Dark Drinker. Yeah. I, was, I fucking flipped when I saw that. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious to watch, to watch Newt. Take uh, my money. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ooh, is, is is this a confirmation that Ginger is getting back into Destiny? I already downloaded it. Yeah, yeah, she's oh, back I just the I just have this little update now. Nice. Awesome. I hopped on this morning, visited Welcome my back. my old hunter right uh, around the tower. It might be this guy too. Hang on, I'll drop. It's on PC though, Cole. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know it's all right. Well, no, actually, on Thursday, um, I don't know if I told you guys about this. Starlight knows about this, but um, a guy out in a. Uh, a uh, little little ways out of town uh, is giving away a uh, a graphite um, uh, tower case, and I, I mentioned that he's like I'm I'm building my PC for the first time. He was originally asking fifty bucks for it, but he's actually going to give it to me completely for free because oh, I'm oh, building nice. my first PC. 
So nice. I'm officially picking up my That's first really PC nice. piece on Thursday. So yeah. It's a fucking empty case, but it's a piece. <laughs> it counts. Yeah. Okay, so the first link I just put in the Discord is is Nixus, Hunter of Oryx. The second one is Axor. Tiny... Yeah, I know. There's not very good there's not any really good pictures. Yeah. But I'm I'm my money's on it being a new enemy, honestly. Yeah. Although Yeah. Okay. I, would think, I, I would think it's a new enemy. You're gonna keep playing. Yeah. Drawn bikes. Uh oh, and that's the enemy. <laughs> Potato armor. The music, the music is just... Like yeah, right. And that's the end of it. Yeah. I uh, want that armor. I want that armor on my Titan right now. Alrighty. It looks so good. So... Do y'all have anything else in here that you want to talk... Oh, here's something. So they're... they're they They came out and said that... Um, um, what did they say? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. They said a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. So there's going to be crossplay between the older consoles and the newer consoles. So, like, the Xbox One will be able to play with the Xbox Series X. Which is pretty cool. It also... I, sh um, I couldn't quite hear them properly, but it sounds like... They what's gonna happen basically is if you own Destiny on Xbox One, like if you purchase the expansions when you mm -hmm. upgrade to like Xbox Series X or PS5 or whatever, you will keep that. You will continue to own that that game, that section, that DLC. Oh, that's good. Yes, yeah. and I think they said it, it it was across. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but the way I got it was that if you buy it on Xbox. Series X, for example, you would have it on PS5 and PC. Uh, I don't know about that. I didn't catch that. Maybe you might be right. I just I don't remember hearing that. But you could be correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then they also did say they want to eventually have it just be crossplay, just every yeah. everybody can play with everybody. That's that's the yeah. Bungie is in full support of that, but yeah, it, that's not up to them. Unfortunately, it's up to the um, up to Microsoft and yeah. uh, Sony and. But I feel like, well, I mean, I, like they have to do stuff. They have to do stuff in order for that to happen. Like Bungie has a responsibility to make that, like, or work to do to make that happen as well. Oh, absolutely. But it, yeah. yes, it's not just their decision. Like they have to work it all out with with Microsoft and Sony, mm -hmm. which I mean, they already worked out cross save. So I feel like they've already got a foot in the door. So oh. it, it wouldn't be too difficult for them. Here's something actually throwing back to Dido Foundry. Uh, a little bit of trivia. According to the lore of the Jade Rabbit, Dido are the creators of an item named Lunal. L-U-N-A-L. It is currently unknown what Lunal is, as it does not appear in-game or is mentioned anywhere else. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um. Okay, was there anything else you guys wanted to talk about? Uh, nope, I touched I'm on everything here. that I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> it just is on for the lo along for the ride. <laughs> Yeah, one uh, way or another, I'm I'm stoked. I'm very excited to see what uh what Destiny has to bring over the next uh, couple of years here. Alrighty, well they pulled me. Back in. <laughs> sorry, not that it's not that, that was, I said they they've pulled me back in after Season of Worthy, which was a little bit lackluster. But let's be honest, that's not a hard thing to do with me. Yeah, <laughs> Bungie tosses out a new trailer. I go, ooh, shiny. <laughs> yeah, they're so good at the hype. They're so so I good know, at the right? hype. Like you, you remember how. When Battlefield One, the first trailer came out with the oh, Seven yeah, Nation Army in the background, and, like everybody was so fucking hype. That's like what every single Bungie trailer feels like. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so Cole, are you gonna be online or are you going to work? Are you oh gonna, boy, <laughs> are you gonna be a good person? And go to work. They don't need me though. That's the thing. Yeah. Um. I I, I probably should honestly. Because, Ginger, are you gonna be playing Destiny once it comes back online? Uh, I might. I might. Uh, yeah. I was gonna see if my boyfriend wanted to play something, but it looks like he's in a five stack on Siege right now. So mm, gotcha. I probably have some free time. Uh, so I'm basically trying to decide if I want to play on PC or on Xbox. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, I feel let bad. Let me tell you this. I'm 750 light. <laughs> oh yeah, the starting light level. That's okay. Oh, you'll so we... you'll jump up quick, like to like a, a manageable amount, and then it'll start mm, to get hard. Yeah. To... Okay. She's a wee little baby guardian. Oh, so actually, new. I mean, uh, last fun, time I fun... played was Forsaken, so. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? No, actually, um, I play with Toland and a really, really old gamer that we not 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 old gamer, but an old um, like a guy from in our really past that's gamer. just a <laughs> geriatric gamer. <laughs> um, uh, like like way back in the days, that, like they they both know each other from uh, like Destiny One beta. Yeah. And anyway, um, I was the highest light level, and I was sherpaing them through the uh through the one thousand level nightfall. It was the weirdest thing. It's like it's like after all that Tol Tolan taught us back in the day. Um, it's like now I was the Sherpa. It was like, nah, yeah, this just not feel right. <laughs> I was playing a hunter as well. I was like, oh, this is just weird. Um. Okay. Well, I'll end the stream. Sure. And just I'm... watching Nate screw around at the camera. Yeah, yeah I, 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 <laughs> it's interesting because so what happened is. Just to like what happened was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ginger, you're a guest here, <laughs> so <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Um, yeah. What I what I was doing is just like idly, like you know, brutally taxing guests live on stream. Yeah, I was just like I grabbed the Discord page or window and i was just like whipping it around on my screen like just like <laughs> absentmindedly and what that yeah. does is it 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 for some reason minimizes stream labs and then fucks up the cameras so i don't know <laughs> fucking why but there you go That's so weird yeah hmm. okay okay so yeah i'm gonna end the stream um and then i have to make a very hard decision of whether i'm gonna play on xbox or pc <laughs> I have to make the decision on whether or not I'm actually going to work today. Yeah, that will also inform my decision. Uh... Um, but, okay, so everybody who listened in to this on Spotify, thank you so much for uh, joining us for this impromptu episode of another Destiny podcast. Yeah. Um, we managed to stretch it out way longer than we should have. But yeah. Hey, that's our, that's our, that's, that's that's our motto. Here on, on, on another Destiny podcast. <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm just going to run through this quick because it's not really an actual episode. So you can find Cole on Twitter at ADP Colossus. You can find Ginger on Twitter at Ginger, Ginger Giggles underscore. She does um, our artwork for the, the podcast. You can find me on Twitter at oh, ADP yeah. Newt. But more importantly, go check out the uh, at Podcast Destiny on Twitter. That is our, our main flagship um, Twitter. So if you ever want any updates on when we're going to be going live because our schedule is a little fucking crazy um that's where you'll you'll want to pick up that information it's um, not crazy we're just inconsistent yeah well I'm, starlight works a lot so that's we, also that cool. tends to fuck things over quite often but we aim for fridays at 8 p.m now we've kind of changed our schedule a little bit too um yeah. uh, yeah. all righty anything i forgot well, thank you very much for joining us here Ginger. that was uh yeah thank nice you nice to have you in yeah thank you for having me yeah and um, you're welcome anytime Yes, that is true. Okay, especially now that you're uh, actually going to be playing Destiny. Yeah. So exciting. Okay. Well, light level up. Get get the starlight grind going. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ginger. What's up? What can what 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 uh what should people always wait? What should people oh. remember? You you fuck. There's always time for another Destiny podcast. Hey. hey. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>